Good evening, family. Thank you so much for joining us on tonight for our midweek expression. I pray that uh, you've had a wonderful week thus far and that you are anxiously awaiting for what God has to share with you on tonight. I pray our praise and worship uh, blessed you and has prepared your heart to hear what God has for you. Because there is a word from the Lord. And, I, and if you will join me over in Psalms, uh, the 61st number of Psalms, I'm going to be reading one verse, verse 2. Psalm 61, verse 2. And we're going to be focusing on part B. It reads, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let me say that for you one more time. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And just to help us focus on what God would have us to get on tonight, I want to use that as a topic of discussion. For the days you feel overwhelmed, there is a rock that is higher. For the days that you feel overwhelmed, there is a rock, yeah, that is higher. Will you join me in prayer? Father, we thank you again for another blessed opportunity to come before you. And uh, as always, we beg of you forgiveness of our sin. Now, Lord, I pray now for each and every individual that may hear this. I pray over their homes. I pray blessings over their health, their finances, their, their children, their relationships, on their jobs, Father. I lift them up right now in the name of Jesus. So anyone that may be confused as it relates to their relationship with you, Father, I, for, and, for, and specifically for those that don't know you in the pardon of their sin, I pray that something will be said on tonight, Father, that will allow them to stand saying, what must I do to be saved? Whatever it is, I need what they got. So Lord, Thank you right now for what you're going to do. Thank you right now for what you're doing. And we magnify you for what you've already done. It's in Jesus' name we do pray and we ask it all. Amen. And thank God. For the days you feel overwhelmed, there's a rock that's higher. Well, finally, for the times when you feel overwhelmed, I want to assure you on tonight that there's a rock that is higher and that rock is Jesus Christ he's stable he's sure he's faithful he's true and he, there, that he is one that you can place your trust in a place where you can rest are you with me you know, I don't know about you, but I can live a pretty stressful life. I, uh, I'm, I can have moments when I'm constantly moving, but even in the moments that I'm not moving, those are the moments where my mind is constantly turning. I'm constantly thinking about what needs to be done, what should be done, what's not being done, what I'd like to be done. I mean, it's constant movement in my brain. And it's not just me, it's my wife uh, and those that are around me. And, and, and we often, and I don't know about you, but I know I do, I often long for a more simplified life. Free of mess, free of clutter, and definitely free of struggles. Is there anybody I'm speaking to tonight? Yet, if we were to be honest, most days we strive just to keep our heads above the demands of work, above the demands of family responsibilities, and all that calls on our name. You with me? It's hard sometimes. Yes, it is. It's hard sometimes feeling like we can never get it all done. Sometimes I ask my wife, 
what you what 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 you got to do, going on today? Well, it, I'm, I'm I'm just on my list on the list that I always have. It's a never-ending list, and our minds, family, are in constant mode of go from the moment our feet hit the floor in the morning. Whether we want to accept it or not, this is life. Yes, it is, and it's real life. But watch this. God longs to be right there in the center of it all. Do you hear me? In spite of the craziness, in spite of all the mess, in spite of the busyness, God desires to be right in the center of it all. In the mess, in the full days, in the craziness, and times when we feel overwhelmed. Because the truth is the reality that we can ever get everything done we feel like we need to do is not even a reality for most of us. In other words, family, I don't care how often you do a to-do list. I don't care how often you add or subtract from that to, uh, uh, to that to-do list. You will never, ever, ever be able to get everything that you need to get done completed. And that's not where true success is found anyway. Watch this. It's found in spending time with God. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, Pastor, I don't know how that can be. I don't, I mean, listen, I got a to-do list on my job. And if I don't complete my, my to-do list on my job, I won't have a job. Well, can I share something with you? You wouldn't have the job unless God gave you the job. So why wouldn't you want to spend time with the one Hello, that gave you the job. I remember in, 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 in the Bible it says, I can do all things through him, through Christ, who strengthens me. In other words, if I give God my time, if I spend some quality time with, with Christ, guess what? Everything that I need to get done will get done. And watch this. Everything that I don't, God will make a way. Somebody should have just said, should have just said hallelujah. Because you know there have been moments where you missed deadlines, but you were doing what God wanted you to do. God made a way. You know that he moved on someone else's heart. He changed their thought process and he put you in position to get it done even after the deadline had passed. There's somebody that understands what I'm talking about tonight. See, family, until we understand that he is our rock, he is our stability, he is our hope, and he is our peace, we're going to forever be doing this constantly in a circle, just constantly moving, constantly moving, but not really getting anything accomplished. But family, maybe today is the day to rise above all that. I don't know about you, but I, I, I desire to rise above the, 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 the craziness. I desire to rise above the busyness. I desire to move beyond where I am. And maybe we've been stuck down too long. Maybe we've been drowning or fighting the overwhelm and all the struggles and the stuff won't ever go, but they don't have to defeat us. Let me say that again. The stuff that seemingly overwhelms us, the stuff that seems to be a drowning us, watch this. They, it, they may never go away. They will always be on, the, on our to-do list, but they don't have to defeat us. Yes, Lord. Why? Because if we spend time with the one, the one by the name of Jesus Christ, the one who saved us, the one who raised us, the one who's given us what we have, he's the one that can bring hope in chaos. He's the one that can bring hope in clutter and demands. And because, watch this, most days aren't cute. Most days don't look like it look like it does on, on, on Pinterest, or, or, or Pinterest, yes, post, or, or, or fresh out of a magazine or picture. Sometimes we have messages 
blessed days. Sometimes we have full days and we can hardly keep up. But watch this. The to-do list doesn't get done again. And we might be feeling a few steps behind. But watch this. I know a man that it doesn't matter the pressures that we have. I know a man that it doesn't matter the time constraints that we have. I know a man it doesn't matter if we feel hurried or stressed. I know a man that is the rock. And when I'm down, when I feel defeated, when I feel discouraged, I can go to that rock. And he can give me a peace. Yes, Lord. That surpass it all understanding. He will shine through. So now watch this family. There may be a lot that may be left undone on your to-do list. And it'll be like that every day of the week, every month of the year, every year, there's something that you're going to miss. There's something that you're going to leave on, on you're going to leave on the table. But but watch this. If we're living close to the one, the one who created the day, the one who cares more about us than we could ever imagine, that's where true life is found. Now I'm not saying you just you don't, I'm not saying that you just stop. I'm not saying that you don't try. What I'm saying is, is that if you, as long as you put in an earnest effort to get it done, but at the same time, you continue to remember that you have to also spend time with God. Watch this. God will not only make a way, but God will work the things out that you, that you felt as though you left on the table. Because that's where true life and true peace is found in him. So for the days that you feel overwhelmed, go to the rock. For the days that you feel like giving up, go to the rock. For the days that you feel discontent and, and feel as though that there's nothing that you can do that's going to make things better, watch this. Go to the rock. Because there's rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the rock, there's peace. Yes, Lord, in the rock. And, and most of all, there's forgiveness. Yes, Lord, in the rock. I want to encourage you. Get real with God today. Tell him your struggles and what's concerning you. Watch this. He already knows. But because he longs a relationship with us, as we sit in his presence, as we pray and read his words of truth, ask him for his peace to cover you. Even if you find yourself in circumstances that are anything but peace-filled, he alone, watch this, he alone has the power to help us rise above the chaos and the mess of our days. So fix your eyes on him. Yes, Lord. And know this, when you fix your eyes on him, he will work everything out. Don't believe me? As I used to say when I was a little kid, I doubled off day to try him. Try him. Watch and see what he will do in your life. Watch and see how he will give you the ability to handle what it is that you feel that you can't handle. Watch and see how he can work in the hearts of people that are pressuring you. Watch and see what he can do in the midst of your storms and in your circumstances. Watch and see. And as the songs say, you'll be, you'll be singing afterwards. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. When you overcome, when you feel overwhelmed, there's a rock that's higher. May God bless you and may God keep you is our prayer. Will you bow with me? Father, we thank you again. 
for being the rock. We thank you again for speaking to us in the midst of our storms, our chaos, our busyness. We thank you, Father, for being with us and never, ever, ever leaving us. We thank you for placing us in positions that we are because we know, Father, that as long as we stay connected with you, you will never ever not only leave us nor forsake us, but you will never allow us to fail. It may be rough right now. It may be bleak right now, but you won't allow us to fail. So, Father, touch down the name of Jesus, the ones that minds are in constant motion, the one who feel overwhelmed, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Not only give them peace, Lord, but let them know that they have stability within you. We thank you. We love you. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray and we ask it all. Amen. And thank God. Thank you so much, family, for joining us again for our midweek expression. I pray that you were blessed in some way. I pray you have a wonderful rest of the week, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Be blessed. Take care, and don't ever forget, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.